protect mask. That sounds good. Aww. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why he bothers making? Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Hey, nice. Nice. Okay. But the map only shows half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. Then the two out of two's got to be around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into the Matarami's cognitions. Uh, we may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. Joker, there's a chest. Thanks. Oh. This music is so nice. A training whip. Oh my. Um. It's like comparable to what we have. It's not very different at all. Does anybody in the chat need training? <laughs> I will train you. By the time I am done with you, you will know all the tricks. Whoa, look at this place, man. What am I looking at? this the infinite spring a conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds these individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives whoa those who cannot do so have no worth living whoa this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Damn it! What a phony geezer! In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! Well, here's the thing. Now, now, actually... <laughs> what he just said is the exact opposite of what I was thinking. If anything... This guy is still being looked at by the main dude. So, if anything, he has a reason to keep quiet. But everyone else doesn't. Like, why is the homeless guy quiet? Why are any of the other guys quiet? If they're thrown away by this guy, what, are they signing NDAs or something? Like, what? why isn't anyone saying anything? It was a little bit different with the volleyball coach because he was like in a position of power, but this is just a famous artist. So he did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken I'm kinda, in. I ho I'm hoping they'll address this. We'll see though. We'll see. That might be a spoiler, but and if still, it is, ignore what I said. Completely. I in fact, I just ignore what I said. Yeah. <laughs> but Kitaka okay, and now I look over in chat, strange. and it's a wall spoiler. Okay, thank you, chat. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. Hmm. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? What do you all think? We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Yeah. Confirm what, though? Uh... It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. Yep. With the other guy, we had she, uh, Shiho. What a pain in the ass. I know, being right sucks, Besides, doesn't it? Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm -hmm. mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. We 
Wait, you're gonna do that? You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. Hmm. I wonder what our deadline will be. I'm assuming we'll have a deadline of some kind. Mm. The reason why Yusu uh, Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Yusuke. I need to get used to saying that. Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What do you bring this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Matarame isn't a problem. Something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Matarame is a bad person, but still, maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that's part. that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're going to let uh, Yusuke decide if Manorami is worth going after or not? I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how... Uh, can you ask Yusuke in? Okay, got it. I guess we can talk some more about this after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Okay. Let's start going to bed. Let's do it. This is another instance where we can just sleep. There were no branching paths the last day. How you doing, bud? Oh! Hell yeah, I should! Plant waifu! Let's do it. Oh. Oh, hell yeah! Okay. Alright. That should do it for a while. Plant waifu, best waifu. Let's go to bed. I'm so considerate, I know. Yo. Hey, it's me. A <laughs> plant waifu emote next? What is, it, what is it gonna be? Just a plant with hearts around it? <laughs> I just can't forgive Matarame, but what Anne said made me think. <laughs> <laughs> to use, to use scare. Are we just a bunch of thugs? Probably. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna make him pay. It ain't like no, you don't need to make him pay. It ain't like he thinks it is. Pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while ishy adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take him down, bud. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Don't tell Anne I called. Uh, called you by the way. Seriously. See ya. See you tomorrow. Does Ko know that he can use the chair in his room? Uh, I'll double check that. Yeah, I'll double check that. All right, I contacted uh, Kitagawa Kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Just be yourself. Cover yourself in paint? At least try to take this seriously. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Matarame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Can we talk to Anne now? Because I'm totally talking to Anne. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He said he wants me to come over after school today. Man, I I haven't had a chance to like do school day stuff for like a year. Come on, man. Perfect, he probably changed his plans immediately just so uh, he could get you over there. <laughs> we need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hmm. Hey, quiet down. Isn't that the student council president? Uh-oh. Here comes the snitch. Oh no. Come on, man. She got hold of Mishima today. I'd, it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Mm. Hey, um. All right. 
we finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Anne's late. Sorry. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time has passed. Yeah, you had to pick out that outfit, right? I was thinking, um, <laughs> thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think for him, the only reason I can think for him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. Wait. But that's why we're gonna check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. To stand there and look pretty? What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Yeah, I know, right? Hey. Something seems different about her to you. Oh, something seemed different about her to you? Did she cut her bangs? Whoa. Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. <laughs> we gotta talk to Yasuki. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Okay, Once he finishes drawing, and gets a little friendlier. We should bring up Matarame. <laughs> Trap Question Co. Abort mission! <laughs> I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Ha <laughs> ha Just let it all hang out there. Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. If you follow me. Huh? <laughs> I'm half expecting the next line to be like, Honey, I don't bat for that team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is there a problem? <laughs> no, not really. Well then, let's get. Not started. even looking at him, dude. Come on. Worst model ever. Hey. Kitagawa-kun. You know, mo models don't really talk. You hear her? <laughs> I was gonna say, like, you're not supposed to talk to it's the guy. It's no use. This isn't like going to the to the doctor. You don't like chat with them. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? This music seems like the music from RimWorld. Does a little bit. Does a little bit, doesn't it? We supposed to know this was gonna happen. Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Actually, those things in the background do 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 do. Sounds like a government infomercial from the late 80s. Have you been to your local library? Remember, you can pick up any book you'd like to expand your mind. It totally does, man. I I can see that. Okay, anyway, uh, let's keep going. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Is he gonna notice the cat? Yeah, don't get caught, dude. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. Please let me play the cat. Please let me play the cat. Yo, that's hmm. a lock. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock? What could be in there? Hmm. <laughs> Mythos. <laughs> Are you done? Matrix perv, a little bit. It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. 
this again. In that painting I saw at the exhibit, you're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei's seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still! <sighs> kitago kun Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Now, uh, yeah, this this comes back to what they were talking about earlier. Like, if he's okay with this, should we really stop it? You're okay with this? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Whoa. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! Oh god, he's calling the co-cops! I'm reporting you to the police. Oh no! I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. Yo, can we chill this situation out? What the F, man? That'd be really bad if the police had an official note that we showed up at this place before this guy went crazy. Because then when they look into that, they're going to see this report and be like, what were y'all doing there? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you. Oh. But only under one condition. Probably never come back, right? What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. Oh my. Ugh. Oh, that's kind of dirty. That's like... That's blackmail. But you said that it wasn't working out today. I'm surprised she's taking this as well as she is. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. Unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, uh... I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. There it is. So basically what this guy said is I won't report you to the police if the girl over here takes her clothes off for me. Great situation. What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. Dude, this is dirty. This is dirty. But that's... Dirty. Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. Now, I said I'd be nude. I didn't say... Oh, never mind. No, that's not what I mean. Why are you not listening? 
The sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, this is, this is bad, dude. I don't know. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? Oh, she's just beginning. A cat? You moron! Do, 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 do. Yep, all because of Ryuji. He's totally Hashtag right. blame Ryuji! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it? Oh, is that gonna be our deadline? <laughs> That'd be so funny! That would be so funny if the deadline was her posing nude. Full nudity? Uh, Lady Yon's gonna. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? Dude, this guy not only said it was fine, but he's blackmailing us. How is nobody seeing this? No, it is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we got to go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. I'm I'm kind of baffled they're not more angry at this dude. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. Huh. Strange, man. Very strange. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to invest. It's for palace, art block rocks, probably. With his they want to see the painting. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. That's a good point. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Not necessarily. Oh, yeah. It might not show your face. That doesn't make me feel any better about it! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. I don't know what you're talking about, Das Hibbit. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Oh! Okay, cool. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? What's up, lady? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Hmm. Have you heard anything about that? I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. Sorry guys, I don't want I don't want Ryuji messing this up. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? 
See you then. Hmm. Okay. I guess we should go home for today. <sighs> Whatever, I still can't forgive him depending demanding to paint Lady Anne nude and then claiming it. Yeah, dude, thank you. I'm glad that they addressed that a little bit. Hello? Hey, it's me, got a minute? What's up, dude? I have some interesting news. Actually, Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Whoa. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. Whoa. Oh, it's that dude again. Okay. See you. Okay. Damn, we popular. I found out something about the uh, something insane about Matarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Matarame stealing his work. That's unforgivable, dude. That journalist was looking into Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa Kun has heard anything. It would be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna get on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's at Passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. Mm. Man, I want to make tools and go places and work on relationships. <laughs> I want to get stronger. Enough of this story junk. All right, looks like we're sleeping. Carnage Keen. That's right, Raven. How does Nakanohara know that you're a phantom thief, though? You know, I don't know. I'm actually hoping we're going to get some answers on that, too. I was wondering the same thing. I was wondering the same thing. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Yo. Rivets. Oh shit, Ko wants to do high school stuff. The end is surely upon us. It is. It really is, dude. It really is. Um, don't train using the chair. It's not worth it. Only gives you a small HP boost. Okay, good. Thank you. This game needs more Tiger Tiger, Sydney Highwind. <laughs> We're about to head to the hideout, too. Hmm? Who's that? Oh. Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? Um, My name is Nakanohara. Maybe he doesn't know who we are. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't know who we are. So that would explain. Uh, that's And that's probably why he contacted um, the other guy instead of us. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in Shujin uniform with a cat. Hmm. So what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Matarame. Hey. Oh, you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Matarame as well. I'm one of Matarame's former pupils. He gave me lodgings at his home where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Matarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as Matarame's original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Huh. All right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Matar Matarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Huh? Oh. He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Matarame's name. Huh. That was when I disobeyed Matarame's pleas and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working as a ward officer, but it was no use. My attachment to art wrapped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. I'd like to ask again, please, make Matarame have a change of heart. 
Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Matarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. Hmm. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Matarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. <sighs> I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Matarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Matarame, and do you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. How did my midterm test go? Dude, I have no idea. I I, I don't think I've even been back to school yet. I, <laughs> I don't know how I did. Did it Did it at any point tell me how I did? Um, I don't know. Anyway. Kitagawa King. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, uh, given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking that, uh, please consider that when thinking about changing Matarame's heart. Hmm. Hey, hey. Hmm. Uh, hey, co-cops, if we could do something about these sneaky purple ladies, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Matarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Matarame's heart. Okay. Hell yeah. Matarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Uh, yes, when when going against purple ladies, both Dan cops and Rue cops are also appropriate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all the cops out there. Good looking out. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Okay. Well, since we've reached a unit... Oh, God, they're wearing disguises now? Oh, we'll never find all of them. Oh, this is terrible. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Ladies are sneaky. Do, 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 do. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? <laughs> I was gonna say not not exactly the right word. Um to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. Phantom X says, man, I missed this channel. It's been too long since we I've watched. We've missed you too, Phantom. Welcome back, buddy. <laughs> After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Oh, uh, Matarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Papa Carnage, what's chastity? Well, I would say Google it, but I don't want you to get in trouble if you're at work. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna answer that. Um, let's go. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about super him. Super salty. Nice. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It's very true, Christmas. It will be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Matarame. That's right. Hey! What is Matarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? Maybe a paintbrush? I doubt that. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. And then you'll rub up against it like you did last time all awkwardly. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent now, out wait the a second. card. I can understand the game ending when I get expelled from school. But what exactly happens if we let the deadline for the fifth pass? 
Doesn't that just mean we're gonna get a nude painting of, of Anne? <laughs> Isn't that all that means? <laughs> um, yeah. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Oh no, I better hurry up. <laughs> now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter mm -hmm, what, mm -hmm. okay? Oh, you get reported to the cops because you don't do the modeling. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, that makes sense. So the plan is that she's never going to do the modeling, and if the deadline comes, then they get reported to the cops. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, this is the first job for the coalition, so let's make